11 started 11 10 so at 12 10 it will end okay we're already planning out when we are ending this <laughs> <laughs> I, did you hit record yet yes i no, just said didn't. i did <laughs> i was just making a mental note damn just Wes, <laughs> come on i counted ex- down and everything <laughs> no this will totally date the episode uh, no, it, it literally just says what time. Oh, no, it doesn't it date it at all. <laughs> okay, yo, we're, we're good. Everything's good. Okay, now Mason can do the intro since he's hosting this week. Oh, like right now? No, just <laughs> God. <laughs> I need what to quit do, this like, podcast. Fucking ended running adrenaline. In no, my soul. don't sing well, copyrighted music. music. We got wait, wait, hold on. Okay, so now we have to we have to provide some commentary under the laws of parody. Uh, that song is cool. All right, let's get back to the podcast. <laughs> I'm I'm quitting. <laughs> I didn't even get to finish my intro. Go go ahead. Okay, you we didn't won't say start anything. your intro. What are you? Yeah, you didn't did. start. Okay, yes. I was. I said adrenaline oh, in my soul. My Welcome back God. to the podcast. We can't use that. Yeah, we can. That's not. Like that's not our intro. Uh, I guess what is it? AEW don't sue us. Wait, who nah, is he with just, now? That's just Cody Rhodes. Well, who, I'm sure whoever owns that. You know, that would be the WWE. <laughs> is it the WWE? Okay. It is the WWE. But specifically, Cody Rhodes is more funny. Okay. We're having a slight little conversation off the air. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you that later because it's so fucking funny and you're going to die laughing. So Saudi Arabia is apparently buying the WWE. Apparently. And Mr. Wrestling Boy Scott is freaking out about it. Yes, it means that we're not going to have to wear turbans for the rest of the time I go to an arena. <laughs> I don't think and he so, would have to so, at all. So, uh, no, I so, know uh, it, it just means it's bad. And and I was a, on it. And I was about to say, I was like, I could just imagine, I could just imagine stole, Stone Cold Steve Austin being like, "Oh yeah, we're taking you to the SmackDown," and then jumping off of the cage into two like foam towers. <laughs> you tell me I gotta dude, go to Saudi dude, Arabia. I, I had a moment of realization the other day. They put uh, the longest yard back on Netflix, and Stone Cold Steve Austin is one of the prison guards. Yeah, you didn't know? <laughs> no, I because I hadn't watched it in like four or five years. Dude, the amount of wrestlers that are in there is insane. Like, there's so many wrestlers in there that you probably like Goldberg, Kali, Tony Atlas. Like, there are so many fucking wrestlers in there. Well, and yeah, I, but Stone it, Cold is the noticeable one. Do you know the guy that like did the big boot thing that like he did like the giant boot when the uh, running like the one of the running backs was running towards him and he just kicked him in the face? Do you remember that scene? Wait. Or like uh it was when Adam Sandler went to like the maximum security part of the prison and he was playing ping pong with the giant to wait Indian Turley? Dude. Yeah, that Turley the, guy. The great big Khan? Indie, that's the great Kali. Yeah. Or the guy. great Kali, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, that's the guy who has the meme like welcome to my uh, TikTok uh that guy. Welcome to my TikTok. My TikTok. Uh, the guy who's like standing the the hello, I, I didn't realize he was a wrestler. Oh, he is. He's shit because he's like seven feet tall. Well, yeah, he's he, he's literally the same size as Shaq. Yeah, he's unnaturally tall and he can't move worth a shit. There's a video of him because he he lives in like Delhi now and he's so fucking funny because that there's a, there's that picture of him standing underneath a waterfall with his shirt off. It's like a popular meme now. Like my friend thinks of you're cute over there. It's like a picture of him. Probably never heard of it, but I. You, I never... you know what's funny is, um, a coworker of mine did that meme to me, except he was the only one doing the meme to me. So he tapped me on the shoulder and he was like, "Hey, my friend over there thinks you're cute." And then he walked over like five feet and then leaned against a pallet and was like, "Hey." That is the what? one of the cringiest things I've ever heard in my that life. That is actually really funny for you to. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, hey, my friend over there thinks you're cute. And then he like slowly shuffled over and was like, hey. <laughs> that actually is like a funny, funny time. I'm going to do that to women in a uh, market. What? I'm going to, in, in a supermarket. <laughs> you I'm said women, to you, women. women in the market. Like, what market are we talking about? In a supermarket okay. or a mall. I'm going to tap women on the shoulders and be like, hey, my friend over there thinks you're cute. And then shuffle all over and be like, Hey. Stupid. Fucking stupid. So am I pulling or what? 
<laughs> I, I, I made a mistake tonight. What would that be? It was texting me. No, no. Let me know when podcast. Listen, <laughs> listen, was the mistake. listen. It's so much worse. Okay. So, on the uh, on the way back from school tonight, Hannah decided to bring us some food, right? But do you know what the food was? What was it? It was my oh so favorite restaurant, Wendy's. Oh no! She <laughs> gave you Wendy's. Yes, Does she, she even love you? I uh, she broke my streak tonight. It's been like seven months since I've had Wendy's. And you ate it because you love her. Lambda, or... I think you need a no, new girlfriend. No, I think no, that girlfriend listen, is me. Listen, listen. This is now a review of Wendy's from me. Okay, I'm cool with that. And I mean this in the absolute best way possible so Wendy's doesn't sue me. Um, Wendy's, you've gotten even worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. How can they sue you? How can they sue you? I don't know. I, can, I guess I can just shit talk everything they, they do at this point. So long as it's I'm not, not saying anything false. Like, okay. Yeah, so it's defamation. They didn't put the lid all the way on my cup. So I like slightly tilted it in order to grab it. And it spilled all over my hand. Like, not f- not fully spilled, just leaked out, like, enough to be annoying. You know, and I was like, okay, whatever, that's fine. Then I looked in the bag, there are no straws. And I was like, ah, oh, come on. And then guess what else? I go to take the lid off of the cup. All of these things are drink-related, by the way. The fries are actually really good. I don't know what they decided to make their lids out of now. But, oh my gosh, it is the most crinkly, hard-to-remove, plastic, thin shit I've ever seen in my life. It's awful. I spent, like, probably 30 seconds trying to take the lid off. And no one cares. (laughs) I was laughing. Did did it not come through? No, it didn't come through at all. Okay, I, I've been laughing this whole time. I was I was it sitting just here. My mic doesn't pick it up. All I the was time. sitting here in complete silence on my end, and I was like, "That oh. was hilarious." I'm just like, <laughs> you're over there dying, and I'm just like hearing absolutely nothing. So I was like, "Okay, no one cares." Yeah. You know what? I okay. So I have a shirt on today. Uh, I'll turn on my oh, camera. What? Hold on. Well, I don't think we're gonna put it on the podcast, are we? No, but you can see me reacting to you. Oh, okay. I guess that's fair. That works. Um, I'm ready. There we go. Hi, Wes. Hi. Man, you are looking extra white today. (laughs) Mason, you are also looking extra white today. You know what, Jackson? You're looking super extra white. I look like sour cream. (laughs) You look like that blue plate mayonnaise. (laughs) Get on with it. With your t-shirt. Blue plate. With my t-shirt? What? Wes had a t-shirt and he wanted a shirt. Blue plate. What? I had just said I have a shirt on. It wasn't... Oh. There's nothing... What? It's just a shirt. Okay. Well, I swear to God I've had that shirt before. No. No, I, I had that same design all shirt. All right. All right. I'm, Hear me out. I mean, up. I shop at Walmart, so if you shop at Walmart, then... Yeah, well, odds are you guys have the us. same shirts. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Do you guys own a NASA shirt? Yes. NASA, Either of you. No, I don't think so. Have you ever owned a NASA shirt at any point in your life, Wes? Yeah. Okay. I swear, every single man at some point has owned a NASA T-shirt, and I don't understand it. Well, I have a good reason. Well, okay. What's the reason? Oh, okay. I do. Okay. So I don't know why, but you said NASA, and my mind went to NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> so I, like, yeah. I just like to imagine. Yes, yeah. I did have... you guys hear uh, D- Dale Earnhardt? Was on the uh, Apollo mission. Dude, what? <laughs> well, you know, it's the same thing. It's NASCAR, NASA, same thing, right? Yeah, Dale Earnhardt yeah. was on did the. He, did he hit a fucking wall this time or no? No, yeah. no, that was when he was on the Challenger. That's unrelated. <laughs> you made that worse of a statement. I like when you just build up to it. <laughs> so far, I've <laughs> mentioned a tragedy and Jackson has mentioned a tragedy, and it's your week to host, and you haven't even mentioned a tragedy yet. Huh, you'll you'll see. Okay. You built it. Did you build it into the topic? Oh yeah, I might have. God. I might have. Might have. Yeah, I might have. Might have. Might have. I might have. I might have. I want to get something out of the way real quick beforehand because I have to show you this because if if not, I'm going to forget and it's fucking hilarious. 
and I and it does involve Cody Rhodes. Wait, I, I, but it, it's it's so fucking funny. It has nothing to do with wrestling. It's just stupid. Wait, but I, then I'd have to put it in the podcast, and I don't want to do that. You might want to do it. It's pretty funny. Is it? Is it really that funny, Mason? It is. It is extremely funny to me to just know someone did this. Um, do I? Ha- okay, so is this something that like is a video thing that I'll have to put in later? It's an image, a JPEG. Oh, it's a, a JPEG. JPEG. Okay, it's just a JPEG. Yep. All right, and it's the funny. <laughs> okay, so you know, during 2020, okay, mm-hmm. pandemic happened, and on top of that, there was protests happening. Remember that, right? Yes. So this was like the peak of the BLM protest, okay? And this is when a lot of I, this is what peak. I'm just telling you where the time frame is, okay? Cody Rhodes um, came out on a show on AEW to address it because a lot of places were doing that. His wife is African American. Okay. He has an African he has an African American wife, and I'll tell you where I'm going with this. So, in the promo that he cuts, he comes out to the ring. He's wearing a suit and tie, and he wants to speak to everyone on behalf of everyone because everyone's like super concerned. And he starts talking about everything going on, basically talking about how, and I, I shit you not, he solved racism because he has a black wife. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> basically, the entire promo was summed up to Cody Rhodes solves racism. And it, it basically was him just like calling out, just talking about the whole protest and everything. Talking about how his wife and everything. Talking about how he he was there and how he knows how people feel. Even though Cody Rose is a white guy. <laughs> and basically, it was summed up by a lot of fans as Cody solves racism. It wasn't taken that good. It was taken very poorly by a lot of people. But it was fucking funny. Uh, <laughs> because you couldn't get necessarily mad at him because he's not a racist. But someone made this in response to that. Let me see. What is this? <laughs> He's in the, okay okay um for those of you at home i'm going to describe what is happening well as you can i was see, gonna put it on the right screen is <laughs> cody rhodes right yes and cody rhodes sure with malcolm x <laughs> martin, <laughs> malcolm with, x and martin luther king <laughs> malcolm x and martin the luther whole king point Jr. of this fucking photo martin is that someone Jr. Yeah, someone put this it's photo. It's the junior. On, it's, it's the junior. son. Yeah, someone put this photo on Twitter and put <laughs> he was there. <laughs> <'Cause> like, <laughs> That's what you get out of this shit. Because this image, I fucking love. I fucking love this. Wait, image. hold on. What's that? What's that image down one and to the left? That one. Little or that little controversial. No. The... No, not that. That one. Oh, down. Down. This. That. No. Up. Oh, that one. Contra- <laughs> Which one? This one? The this one, one. in the car. No! <laughs> Jackson, I hate you. Don't click what about, off the what, what about this one? What about this one? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> oh, and he's gone. And he's back. Wes, Wes, he was there. He was there the whole time, Wes. Cody Rhodes had solved racism from the beginning. Cody be Rhodes honest. solved racism in 1955. He was there with them. That's Told you know, okay, hold on, hold on, one second, one second, one second. Oh, should I have that up? One second, one second. Okay. Angry Scott. What are you doing? Oh, we well, want to come. Show up first. Yes, okay, so everyone, big round of applause. Woo! Angry Scott YT hit 1.19k subscribers. Let's go. Yay, let's watch, dude. Yo, 1.19, nice 1. 19, one Point one nine three. It's like one hundred and ninety three. <laughs> I think uh, you have one point one nine brain cells left as well. It That's looks like fucking true, dude. Ugh. That's what I get for having that fucking C gram. <laughs> the, the, the what? C grams. That's what they're called, right? C grams. Seagrams, the G R A M S. Seagrams was Seagrams. There's no, no, there's no, no one. No, no one says Seagrams. It's, say, C, it's Seagrams. I've always heard it Seagrams, not Seagrams. There's no like U in it. It's Wes, back, back me up here. There's no way it's called Seagrams. There's no fucking it's Seagrams. Year. Hey Siri. Hey, hey Jackson, you want to know how, how much you I can back you up? What is either of the things you're saying? It's an it's, a, it's an alcohol. Oh. You better hurry up, Siri. 
Well, listen, yeah, Siri, yeah, Siri says so many things wrong. Yeah, Seagrams. Seagrams. Yeah, Seagrams. Wes yeah, having never... <laughs> Seagrams. <laughs> yeah, Seagrams. You make it sound like some God. sort of like... I, I don't even know. You make it sound like a sand dollar. Yeah, Seagrams. <laughs> you ever had right. Seagrams? <laughs> you ever had some you ever had some milk? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have it, I have it, I have it, I have, it. I have the audio. I have it I, I looked up her enunciation of it. I got it. Yeah, there's a U right there. Seagrams. Oh, really? Then what does it sound like? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> he did it, and it was exactly as Jack was saying it. It's Seagrams, I'm telling you, man. Come on. I, I come from I come from a you. long line of alcoholics, bro, okay? <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Am I one? No, but I know what I'm talking about, all right? There's no U in it. Don't call it a grum. There's no... What? This is, grum, this is the salmon incident all over again. But then why do you need an A there if it's pronounced as a U? C, gram. It, it, it's C and then grams put together and you get C, grums? How the fuck does that make sense? That's all I'm saying. Anyways, continue. Topic for today. <laughs> You're the one with the topic. <laughs> topic. Yes, of yes, course. Yes, let's the go. Topic. It involves your favorite fucking thing. It involves my. What is my favorite thing? Someone tell sure. me. I don't know what no, it okay. is. Okay, the, the topic is the worst high school experience. Oh my or worst, gosh! Worst, oh, worst school it's, up here. It's worst I don't school know. experience. My gosh! Dude. You already know what my number one story is. Yeah, I'll let you go first yeah. so you can get yours out of the way. Boy, I hated junior high. Junior, no, ju not junior high. You hated junior year what? of high school. Junior high is a different thing. What is junior high? I believe it's an equivalent of middle school. Hold on one second. Am I wrong, Mason? Junior high is like the thing before high, like seventh and eighth grade. Yeah, so middle school. Yeah, virtually. I mean, it was called middle school here like the entire time, but. Wait, what copyright strike me? I got a copyright Grade strike. Grade 7 to 9. Interesting. All right, I'm stupid. I hated junior year of high school. It just made sense. To, yeah, sorry. it really did make sense. It really would make sense. You are right. It would make sense if you weren't an idiot. <laughs> Anyways, I hated junior year of high school. We had this teacher. And I don't know what's wrong with her. And, but she just, I mean, you've had one of those teachers that just kind of is the worst, right? And, Who really, had, and really has it out for you. Exactly. You, every, Mason, you have to relate, right? You ever have a shitty teacher? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, a pretty not, no. it's a pretty relatable thing. <clears throat> but she was worst in, like... Not just not that she was like an angry teacher and that she would yell at you, but just be so completely unfair and entirely biased. And she and she would do the things like, oh, man, I but I care about you guys and I care about you students. And she would be saying stuff like that while shoving a knife straight into our necks. You know what I mean? <laughs> Go on. That is a very interesting metaphor. I'll be honest with you. Would you not do that though? Okay, no, so you're basically, right, but like that, it works. So we were in high school, and I'm not gonna say we were the best of students. No, but nobody's the best of students unless you actually are, right? Well, I, I mean, I was yeah. a good student. How was I? <laughs> you were okay, Jackson. Yeah, I was okay. <laughs> All I'm remembering right now is when you were stacking things with the book. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was I was a good student. I was. <laughs> Listen, just I'm because just, just because I get student. distracted sometimes does not mean that I yeah, I'm a bad student. Continue well, your would, story. I've... Finish the story. I would say the same thing. Like I did all my assignments. I wasn't slacking off or anything. I just also got distracted a lot more than Jackson. <laughs> True. <laughs> Anyways, the point is, all year it was a struggle um, to get through these classes. Um, 
it seemed like any time that uh, we said anything, she would immediately just try to play devil's advocate just because she wanted to or something like that. Or I don't know. There was one time where it, we got into like a heated debate. Um, and it just, it was just hard to get any progress either way. But the story I'm talking about specifically, it's funny. I actually wasn't thinking about the stress ball incident. Oh, really? At the beginning, I, I was talking about how mad I was about the Hamlet debate. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's where thinking. you're going with this. Anyways, we'll we'll precursor that with this story I forgot. We we did like this little thing where we got, I don't know, like little tiny gifts. I don't know what other way. Maybe it was like a Christmas type thing. I don't remember why. Oh, no, no, no. I remember it was Entrepreneur Day at our school. And so people were selling a bunch of knickknacks and stuff at lunch. And it was just basically to um, drum up the love for capitalism in <laughs> our school <laughs> for oh, the yeah. young youth. Oh, so yeah. that we can indoctrinate them into our belief system when Let's they're older. Let's fucking go. That's what we Dude, do, it's man. great. So genius. She, so everyone had like random assortment of things and... It was really funny because, like, to the older classes, the parents kind of announced, like, hey, just go and check one person's thing out and buy one thing. Yeah, because nothing, right? su- nothing was super expensive or anything. It was all, like, a dollar. No, every like, there was stuff you could have bought for, like, 25 cents. But I remember my mom coming up to me and just being like, hey, you have to support these little kids and their capitalistic ventures. Otherwise, their dreams will something. be crushed. <laughs> you have to buy something. And so, basically, that way, nobody just sat there for all of lunch period and had nothing bought and then gave up on their dreams of capitalism. Capitalism. But this happened every year, and so everyone had a sword and knickknacks, and our teacher had bought a stress ball. And I'm not saying I, I was right in what I was doing. I mean, I was talking during the class that she was teaching, sure. But Wait. what kid doesn't? Oh, Am I wrong? So you got one thing wrong already. I'm just going to say what? that. Wait, what? It was Julia bought the stress ball, not her. Oh, okay. <laughs> so anyways, it wasn't even her stress ball. I guess Julia was sitting on the end where she could easily yeah. access the stress ball. Okay, so Julia was sitting on the end, and I'm talking during class. She picks up the stress ball, and she throws it right at my head. And just looks at me with the biggest grin on her face and says, now I feel less stressed. <laughs> and then continues on her class like nothing is wrong. The teacher? The teacher, Yeah, yes. the teacher, yes. What the Now, fuck? I know what you're saying. And no, it didn't really hurt. But the stress ball was very solid. It was like one of those ones where you have to like really had, press yeah, down Yeah, it on. had rice in it for, for reference. Why would you throw that at a kid? What the fuck, dude? We don't know! And... <laughs> she, um, she, like, kept teaching like nothing was wrong. Everybody, like, went dead silent, I think, right? Yes. No one said yeah, a okay. single thing after yeah, that. Yeah, no, nobody said a single thing. I was fuming. I was absolutely furious. I was very close to just leaving and going home. Like, I was like, if I say anything within the next 10 minutes of this happening, I'm I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> 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 but yeah, um, after like the initial incident, I do not remember what happened. Yeah, I, no, I'll be honest. Nothing super eventful happened for the rest of the day. Yeah, I have no... Uh, that was all that was consuming my thoughts. I was, like, trying my best not to say or do anything else just so I didn't get into any trouble because I knew I was, like, I am literally about to cuss this teacher out and get in so much trouble. (laughs) I don't blame you, dude. What the fuck? Okay, and then there was this... Okay, did... Okay, I can't... I keep misremembering. Did she apologize to me in front of the class? I thought she apologized to the class as a whole, and not okay. you. Okay. Okay. Then, um, that's what I was remembering. I couldn't remember if it was one or the other, but um, 
after after I told my mom what happened, and my mom and her were friends at the time, and so they had like a conversation about it, and then she was like, "Well, she she said that she was going to apologize um, in front of the class to you, and uh, personally apologize to you later afterwards." But th- that was the one that never happened. So she just like apologized to the class that that happened, instead of apologizing to me that she did that. Along the lines of that, she also did, like, really childish stuff. Like, if she didn't like um, stuff that we were doing in class, she was like, okay, we're going to go back to preschool now, and you're going to get a stop sign. And if you get two stop signs, then you have to sit with me at lunch and think about what you did. No, no, no. Have a conversation about what you did. Have a conversation. About. Yes. No, because it only happened to one person. That's so much Dude, more funny because wait. of the story I'm leading into. Okay, so here's what happened. So, um, only, uh, only like two people ever like had to have this lunch with her, which I guess was the worst thing ever. Um, well, two people deserved it. Only one person did. But one one of wait, the people what? was wait, what? um Jacob, and this guy was kind of. This guy was really shy in high school and didn't talk to us at all. And so he um, he was so shy and he hated presenting that he would do all of his assignments, but he would never bring them in because he didn't want to present them. But he did all of his assignments. He later told me. Um, <laughs> but he he was supposed to have it because... Uh, missing an assignment counted as like one of her little stop sign things, and so Scott has just been looking at his phone, not paying attention to my beautiful. No, I know story. what's happened. I get because oh. he had to go have a conversation. Scotty That's doesn't care about, about like, me. I don't care about you. <laughs> yeah, that was we we've been known that we've been known that. <laughs> we've been... I'm just shocked that a teacher could fucking do that and act like they can get away with it. I just oh uh, well, fun fact: she didn't get away with it, but we'll continue with that later. Wait, what? She didn't get away with what? The fuck this happened? is a well, this is a saga. Hold on, hold on. This saga? is a saga. Okay. I'll let you tell that part after I get done with the trial stuff. Do you want to hear mine? So we just get it out of the way, or no? In, in a minute, just continue what he's saying, and then I'll okay. I'll go. We'll go. We'll do me last. Okay. 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 That's fine. You'll you'll conclude everything. Um. But no, like. Um, he was supposed to get one because he missed two assignments in the morning, and so he got the two required stop signs, but she just didn't follow through with it. Like, she handed him the stop signs, and then he went to go sit in his normal place for lunch, and she never went to talk with him. So that was really funny. But basically what happened is there's this guy in our, there's this guy in our class, and he had, like, probably one of the worst weeks that a kid could have. What do you mean? Just he listen. Found, he found out that his mom had been diagnosed with cancer. His dog died. Same week. His sister got put in the hospital as well. His sister got put in the hospital. I forgot about that. And his printer, like, legitimately broke. Like, not even just an excuse. Like... He none of his family could print anything, and he missed two assignments, so he had to sit with her for lunch. Like she didn't let up on him because legitimate things happened in his family. She like was just like actually extenuating circumstances that kept him from doing it. Well, he no, he actually did the work. He just couldn't print it. Yeah, like he proved it, and he just like didn't he have it on his phone then? Yeah. But she wouldn't let yeah, him he, access it. Yeah, it's because they had like a no phones rule or some shit like that. And so they were like, no, no. I, I guess you really just missed it because you can't print it out. And so because... That's really funny. Because the, conver- because the conversation has to be about why you missed an assignment or why you didn't print it out or something like that, then I guess that's what the conversation was about. <laughs> but just... I don't. Sam. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not sure that Sam even spoke a word during that lunch. I think he just kind of sat there. That's probably true. Yeah, that but was yeah. Uh, that was the beginning of the end for that year. 
Anyway, Mason, go ahead and tell your story. I still want to know how she got fired. I'll I'll did. I'll end it with that. How about that? Uh, all right, <clears throat> fine. You got a coin on you? Do I got a coin? Siri does. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, heads, I tell one. I, I got a coin. I got a coin. Go ahead and flip it. Heads, I tell the marching band story. Have I told anyone the marching band story? Uh, probably not. I don't remember a marching band story. All right, heads is the marching band story. Okay. Tails is the. There's quite a lot to choose from. I'm going to be dead ass honest. Point in hand. Mm, Tails is the ghost story. Okay. The ghost story. It's heads. Heads. All right, marching band story is then. If you want me to tell the ghost story, okay. I will as well. So I just want you to flip a coin. <laughs> it's up to y'all because I, in terms of ranking, I can't rank which one's better, but it happened in my freshman year because all the bad things happened in freshman year. Mm. Uh, I was in, yeah, no, it did for me. It went, my high school progression went from shit to all right, like in that, in, in, in an ascending vibe for some reason. Um, I was in marching band and I played the bass drum. I play. Ooh, I had. The, I had the. I had the bit. No, it was the biggest bass drum. I had like the nearly eighty pound one, and mm-hmm. I had to walk around. Uh, fucking hated it. My yeah, back but was it, killing but me. But it sounds cool. It sounds cool, but I think I have lower back issues from it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just dead ass honest, dude. I think I do because I always feel the same pain in my lower back. But uh, it's hard to see out of the front of it. I had to walk in two miles of fucking rain in the cold winter in spartanburg to march for our fucking parade and i got free donuts at the end i'm not gonna lie but man did i fucking hate pog, it <laughs> pog free donuts let's go I, I i don't know if i want to walk two miles again for donuts but that's not the story um you know i would show up to the football games i would show up to the football games and we would have to play it was just a requirement i was in marching band i had to go to the football games and you know play my shtick do what we did and i never actually marched on the field i just kind of we stayed in like this little like trolley thing and we would like play our percussion instruments it was fun. I enjoyed it. But uh, there was parts where we would stand on the sidelines and play. Uh, and the only way to get them back up, because we would take our instruments down and place them on something on the field for our performance. Take them off, put them back on our harness, and go back up <clears throat> the way of the stairs back to the stands, because we would stay in the stands. Mm-hmm. And it's a fucking embarrassing story. Everyone who went up, we went up the single, like we went up like the bottom lane to go to your seats right this was like my second game i've ever been to like my first game home game i went up the wrong set of stairs there was like it was like you take it was the the bass drum yes one (laughs) one, there was one set of stairs there's another one you go on the second one to go back up to where i stand i went on the first and i was like fuck i'm at the wrong place and i turned around and I saw my stepdad, and I was like, "Oh, hey, how you guys doing?" It's like I meant to. I was like, "I've been up here the whole time just to say hi to y'all." That was that was my whole plan. I turned around, I walked back down, and I nailed up kid in the back of the head with a thing. <laughs> 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 I heard the clunk, and I was like, "Oh shit!" You just and hear one up, random like boom. <laughs> I heard some other people around like oh, watching too, oh. and I heard my stepdad in the back. He went, "Oh." Because I hit this kid in the head, and it made a pretty audible noise, and he was, like, holding his head, and he was just, like, looking up, like, confused. And his friend, like, oh, a headshot! And I was, like, what? <laughs> and I was, like, thank God you're not crying. Because I would have been so embarrassed. It, and I was, like, thank God you took that, like, a champ, kid. <laughs> you deserve sh- McDonald's, like, fucking goddamn. You <laughs> deserve McDonald's, I'm gonna buy you a Happy Meal. <laughs> that kid, I, my, heart, happy meal. my heart dropped, and then I felt so sad. I was, like, God damn. I nearly fucking ruined it, dude. I I I was um, I, I that's what that's where I got my nickname in high school. Like I had a high school nickname for like the farthest part, and it was called Nookie. Because uh, yeah, I was Nookie. I I was in, I we were on our way to a band um competition, and one of my friends Ben sitting across me, and I was just listening to some some I was listening to Limp Biscuit, and one of their songs was Nookie that came on, and he took my phone. I was like, "What's this, Nookie? Hey guys, look." And, and then that's how they referred to me as Nookie. Uh, little did I know that that was called Nookie because that's a 90s slang term for pussy. So <laughs> no one knew. And I swear to God, the teacher even called me Nookie as well. 
And so they didn't everyone know. everyone called you that that whole time? Everyone called me Nookie, and no one knew what the real reason was. And I remember I told my mom, and I was like, I got a nickname. And she's like, oh, what nickname? I said, Nookie. And went, oh. like, is she because she knows what it is. And she was like, she, what? She, <laughs> call you? she knows what it is? But she knows what that slang term was from. <laughs> because my stepdad went like, oh, what? So what do your nickname is? Chocolate Starfish? And I was like, oh. <laughs> like they went on with it because it was a Limp biscuit thing at the time and I was super into Limp biscuit and I didn't realize it and then they stopped calling me after I like I actually said it and I was like I feel bad and or actually like first they kept to call it but there was a there was an add on it went from nookie to nasty nookie because there was a fucked up story that I got bullied when I was in there they, we had this little ball this little tennis ball we would throw around this small band locker and it would like bounce off the walls and shit kind of like wall ball but it's more like dodgeball like get hit by this flying tennis ball at like fucking 25 miles that an hour that mock speed at mock speed, yeah. <laughs> One of the times they threw the ball and it bounced in, and there's a bathroom back over there, and it goes over the stall and hits it, and it gets in the toilet. It's no, there's not shit in the toilet or piss or anything. It's just a clean toilet. It's just no one's been used. It's just in the toilet, and. One of the friends opens it, and Blake's like, hey, man, can you go in there and get it? And I was like, are you sure? It's like in the toilet. He's like, yeah, man, you go. Just go get it. And then I, I reach in. I grab the ball and pull it out. And he's like, oh, you're nasty. Like, and, and that was like that kind of shit, you know? So I was like, man, fuck you. <laughs> like, <laughs> I got so called. And that's how I got called Nasty Nookie. Because uh, you reached your I, hand in the toilet, and you listened and, to Limp Biscuit. And I grabbed yeah. the ball from the toilet because they told me to. Man, was I bullied. I, I There was some weird shit that happened. I walked... I, I can't even tell you. Like, one of the weirdest things is I, I walked in one day into that locker room by myself because I heard this loud banging, and it's this ROTC kid named Alex just throwing a chair at the wall. Repeating. He's just, he's just taking a chair, throwing at the wall, and repeating the same thing. And he's like, what you looking at? And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, he's chipping away at the wall. Because he's throwing it so hard at it, and he's doing it just for no reason. Like it's fucking wild. Um, I've had that's I had a little bit of funny one. That's the ghost story, but that's like a, not actually a ghost story. And then so I'll, it's a ghost I'll, story that's not a ghost story. I, I was in theater and I was the ghost. Oh, that's what happened. So we did it. We did it. <clears throat> Look at this I, nerd. <laughs> I was a theater kid. I was one hundred percent a theater kid. I was in there for a long time. Nerd. I um. Hey, fuck you, man. I, I actually had an all right time. Nerd. We um did a, a show called Everybody's Crazy. <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna I, say. I just want to. <laughs> no, you don't. I was also a theater kid. <laughs> yeah. We did a show called Everybody's Crazy, and the plot of the story is there are three college kids who buy a hotel from the la their landlord, and they got to find enough money and revenue to make sure it's a cursed show. Forgotten lines. Fucking galore! It was. I mean, it was actually not that bad. The first was the improv good when they forgot the lines. No, they stayed silent for five minutes. Oh <laughs> no! I wasn't no. on stage. I wasn't on stage. I was fine. I saw the whole thing happen, and it was God. It was fucking hilarious. I loved it. That was the first night. Then we did a second night because we got everything down past. Like, okay, we're ready to go. Um, but it didn't happen the first night. The first night was cursed because second night. Was better first night. Holy fuck. I was the landlord, okay? So the whole point of the plot is they have to bring in money for the hotel so these college kids can succeed. Well, one of the things was that the hotel is haunted, and I, being the landlord, was supposed to be the ghost. So basically, I had like, we we're two ghosts. We had a double ganger, and then we had me. I was the landlord slash the ghost. So it, I show up every now and then as a landlord, but then at the very end, I show up as the ghost. It's like, oh my, it's like a Scooby-Doo thing. Like, they take off the mask. And like, oh, it's the landlord. He was the ghost all along. He was terrifying the guest out of here. The real you ghost know, was the friends we made along the way. They, that was also a line in that. Um, but that's the bullshit thing is that I had to be the ghost. And mm -hmm. that's the real fucking funny part because in the script, it's, it's, it's a very different outcome. At the end, I got my, my wig taken off and I was like, oh, you're the ghost. You were the one that was causing all this problem. Shame on you. You're going to jail. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to jail. And uh, I'm, going to jail. <laughs> I'm going to jail. Here's what actually happened. In the scene, there is a Fourier, a, a giant over arc that I'm supposed to walk through. It's dark. It's like pitch black and they're playing scary sounds and I'm walking through and I'm creeping. I'm wearing this giant white loincloth with like a slitted throat, blood all over it too. And I'm looking like proper ghost like in the script. It's supposed to be they tackle you to the ground. 
Okay. And the, my, my theater teacher at the time was specifically said, is like, you're not going to actually football tackle him. You guys are going to like grab him and then slowly like pull him to the ground safely. That was, <laughs> that was what they were told to do. That was not correct in fruition. That was the wrong practice. I'm here's the scene. I switch from my landlord costume to the ghost and I'm walking out. Creeping. I get to the middle of the part and then you hear now. Okay, and that was the cute because like everyone's going to say now, and I'm like, what? Oh god, I'm flabbergasted. All I remember, I looked up at the lights. I was looking at the lights and like the crowd, and all I remember is this sudden flick of my head, and I went boom as loud as I could on on the floor. (laughs) So what happened is my friend came behind me and ran, took both my shoulders and. Threw me to the ground as hard as he could. He just, he like ran up. He, it was like a sack from Madden. He ran up, grabbed my shoulders, and flung me to the ground. Like he pushed me shoulder first to the ground. And I felt like, I didn't feel anything. Because what happened is I hit the ground. My legs went up in the air. And I went uh, shoulders and back first on the ground. So you hear, there's a large audible thud. Like it echoes. Like, because it's a theater. And then the, the floor they were using was like this uh, black plywood. So you would hear a very loud echo noise that came from it. And it was not, it, it, I got body slammed virtually. I got fucking body slammed. And it was not nice. I, I didn't feel it because when I got body slammed initially, I felt the force and then the sound. And I was like, what the fuck just happened? I thought, I, guess I, I thought, I thought the whole thing was like, you're supposed to grab me and tackle me, not fucking throw me to the ground. And what made it worse, because that was my friend Riley. He was the he was the main character who did that. And he didn't actually get a hold of me yet. And what happened is my other friend Josh was running over. Well, he trips on Riley. Because he body slams me. And he goes knee first into my groin. He goes knee. He drops like he trips. Drops knee first onto my cock and balls. All right. And he, I feel oh. all of I feel all of the knee hit my scrotum. It was a oh, very, man. that was the pain I felt. I didn't get hit from, I didn't hurt from the body slam. I got hit from, I got hurt from the amount of force he put on my dick because his knees, he like straight up just tripped with knee first into my dick and then rolled through and proceeded to grab me to try to fix it. And I'm, there's a part where we're getting lifted up off the ground and I'm looking hardly at the face. I'm I'm staring at him as after all of this was done, I got body slammed and kicked in the dick and we're getting up to do our lines and I'm looking at him and the entire time we look guys for five seconds. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to contain my laughter. I'm trying to contain everything, and I can see him doing the same thing too because he's smiling, and he's not trying to smile too. He's trying to keep it serious because the play is about the end, and he's like smiling and then like trying to hold it in best he can. I'm trying to hold it in best I can, and, and then after that we got to cut off. And then after the fucking show was over, I was I lit up to it. I was like, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you because <laughs> I get so fucking pissed. <laughs> It was hilarious, though, oh because God. what happened? I, but the thing that cracks me up is I was looking at him when we were happening. We couldn't contain it. And we were about to burst out and laughing on stage. Because the whole audience that was there went, oh, like that, as soon as I got slammed. That was the fucking wildest night. Anyways. God. <laughs> Why? I just, what, what, what did he, like, say after that? Like, he said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to do it like that. And I told him, like, that's not what hurt. It was Josh who need me in the dick. <laughs> that's what happened. Because I was on the ground back first. <laughs> I did. I said, like, you could have done a little bit better. And then the next night, we proceeded to do it a better way. Uh, not body slamming. Like, they, only... <laughs> <laughs> they only slapped me in the nuts that night instead of completely <laughs> kneeing my dick. They gave dick. me a nice little pat. They, they gave me a nice little pat, pat, slap, slap. And I nearly lost my scrotum that day. Uh, if we can go ahead to the next story, because that's all I got. God. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> moving on to the the horrible teacher from hell, we had this um, mm. mock trial that we were doing, and we did this in front of a lot of the community. So a lot of the um, other classes were there. We did it in the gym. And... Uh, preparing for this thing was intense because she let us choose sides and there were 10 of us 
and three of the people in our class wanted to be on the opposition, and seven of the people wanted to be, er... It was, no, it wasn't quite seven, but it was like five or six. We only had nine people that year? I thought so. I thought we were smaller that year. Okay. Anyways, we were still, it doesn't matter, in the minority by a lot, and the people that I was paired with, because of our own choices, yes, they don't like to do work. <laughs> like, this is the same guy who paid me, or not paid me, but this is the same guy who paid for someone to do his senior thesis. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was then, a mistake on Wesley's part too, but continue. Yeah. Anyways, I want I wanted to do that side because it was interesting, and I think and I thought that okay, well, if everybody chooses the other side, then there's not it's not going to be really fair at all. So, and it interested me. I wanted to be on this side. So, we choose that, and she allows this instead of uh, putting a couple more people on our side, which is fine by me. But that means that I had to do a lot more extra work. And I was like, okay, if we're going to have any edge on this trial, we need to not do the expected route because this has been done, th the same trial had been done before by the seniors of last year and the ones before that and so on. And so, um, I was just like, okay, instead of doing the recommended strat, which is what everybody does and everyone loses, we'll try something different and shoot a different angle instead. So, it was called Hamlet on Trial, and most people try to plead um, for insanity um, so that he can be acquitted of his crimes. But instead, we tried, to, uh, we tried to prove that he was actually innocent and didn't commit the crimes in general. I believe so. Am yeah, I, I misremembering? Uh, it's, it's either that or the reverse. I don't think it was the insanity one, though. Yeah, it was, either way, it wasn't the insanity. We didn't try to do the insanity route because we had never seen it work before. So I was like, okay, why are we going to keep doing the same thing? I'm going to at least try something different. So I was doing the brunt of the end. I probably did like 80% of the work trying to do that. And our teacher, three days before the trial, like this is weeks and weeks and weeks of preparation, finds out, or asks us, like, what our main points for the trial are, probably to gauge, like, if we had actually done the work, which is actually if something fair on her end. Like, I completely understand why she asked that, knowing who we were. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I sent her the points or something, or at least what, uh, what our main, like, attack was or something like that. And... She saw that and was like, you weren't trying to plead insanity? And I was like, no, we're not doing that. And she's like, you can't do that. You have to plead insanity. <laughs> Thought, like, it was your choice. Oh, it was. Oh, it was totally. But she was just like, yeah, all that work that you've done, you have to throw it out and rework it for the insanity case. And, like, she sent this long letter to all of our parents about it. And, like, I have never been so i don't think i've been more furious in my life the only other time was when she threw the stress ball at me i think i think was when i was just you didn't, so angry you didn't get the full story then what what was the because full story? there was another half of this story that i guess you didn't know about during 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 my half of the preparation because i was on the opposite team so i was on the side of i have to prepare for whatever it is that wesley comes up with and on me knowing him feel bad for you because you no, had six people i don't i i'm not complaining about that i feel more for him than i do for anything <laughs> else in that trial the when we were preparing the uh everything right i brought up the topic of hey what if they did this and they were like, they can't do that. They have to plead insanity. And I said, no, they don't. Like, that was never stated that they have to do that anywhere at any point. No one ever said that. And they were like, but that's the recommended thing. That's what they have to do. And I was like, that that doesn't mean they have to do it. So then they went on oh, to so go I all So I stole the idea from Jackson. No, 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 you didn't. You did not take oh. that idea. I, I predicted what you were going to do. 
I had, oh, I, had okay. it re- I had it it ready, but they were like, "No, we don't have to prepare for that." And I was like, "Guys, literally, that is that is what would really happen." Oh, I see. What, we yeah. have to do that. So then they went back, <laughs> talked to their parents, and then they all the parents all talked to her, and then she sent the thing to Wesley asking for the points. Oh, so, so it was all a big coup against Wesley. I understand. Yes. But no, then once I found out that they were doing that and they were making them switch it, I said, I don't remember if I actually did it or not, but I almost gave them what every single topic we would be discussing was. Yeah, Jackson really. <laughs> I mean, I turned in into the a rat end, for that because I was so mad about it. In, in the end, we did the trial and. We, there were the three, we only had three judges, which was some of the seniors from last year, or was it all of them? There was, we had a really small senior class. Yeah, there were, I think there was only three or four there were people. three that were judging, if not, um, oh, right, because the, the fourth one, do you remember? Hmm, the fourth what? Hold on, I'm gonna, so you don't have to bleep anything out. Hold on. Um, that was the fourth senior. What I just DM to you. Yeah, I had him, the person whose name starts with a C, and the person whose name starts with an A. I don't remember anyone else. I remember him, but n- not his name. What? I he was the one who judged. Oh, uh, uh, that's what I'm saying. Do you know who? I don't remember his name. This is uh, this isn't uh, no, interesting T, for T. anybody else. It's T. T. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Him. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. there we go. This isn't interesting for anyone else, so no. I apologize. Anyways, um, uh, the first one that I mentioned to you in DMs, sorry, listeners, but they weren't there for some reason. Mm-hmm. So in the end, it it was a uh, it was a uh, three judges. And only one of the judges um, voted for us to win. So it's whatever. But the more important part was that I was I had fun doing it. And I got to lie on the stand. And nobody thought anything of it because mm-hmm. it was part of the character I was playing. And that was awesome. <laughs> he got to commit fake perjury. Isn't that awesome, Mason? Fuck yeah. I did. Because, <laughs> because like in Hamlet, at the beginning, he like swears these two guards to secrecy. And I'm just like, I will never talk about this again. Just just like stuff like that. And so they asked me about that. And I was like, nope, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, and there was a big thing about that, too, that people complained <laughs> about. And also, I, after the trial, I said something like, so you, you guys, guys are just won. awful. Who I know. Like, no, I agree. That's my, that was what I said. <laughs> I was like, guys, we literally won. What are you complaining about? Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't the most fair it could have been. <laughs> Apparently that was, not. That's crazy. <laughs> it's almost like the I had the teacher of the class out to get me. Crazy. <laughs> I could go with um. I could go with multiple stories because not a lot ever really happened to me. I was kind of on the uh, my. It happened to my friends, kind of thing. Wait, real quick, real quick before we do that. <clears throat> the Jonestown Massacre saw 909 people die as a mass suicide by the cult leaders, including some men, women, and children, after the leader of the temple took his own life by gunshot wound and fed the rest of his own followers laced grape juice mixed with cyanide. You good now? Yeah, I'm good. I got, got it on my it system. Out of your system? Yeah, I got okay. it on my system. Okay. Is, is that the drink the Kool Aid? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know what the funny part is? You know what the absolute funny part is? What? Before you even got to like me finding out that it was the um Kool-Aid meme but like the what it like spawned from you said cult and I was like ooh, a good one he could do would be the drink the Kool-Aid reference. But it was. And then it was the actual <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Good observation. <laughs> it was grape and not fruit punch. Lame. Lame. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not drinking your fucking Kool Aid if it's not. 
I, I'm not. I'm not cyanide killing myself unless even it's sir. Listen, even I won't Levi show up. drinks the red one. Like, and that's even Levi something. drinks the red one, and he's an idiot. He eats rocks. <laughs> I don't think he eats rocks. Sir, I'm gonna be honest. You haven't with talked you. To I don't want to drink this Kool Aid unless it's red. Therefore, I know I can trust it. Excuse me, Your Honor. This color of Kool Aid is icky, and I want the red one. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Excuse me, Your Honor, but for lunch I asked for Capri Sun. <laughs> oh, that's my zodiac sign. Capri Sun. <laughs> I had someone try and argue with me that it was Capra Sun, and I was like, "No, it's just not." No, it's Capri Sun. <laughs> I think yeah, Sagittarius. Sagittarius is saggy titties. That's how I think it. <laughs> All right, Jackson, finish finish it off with the why okay. she got fired. All right, so I'm not going to lie. There were so many other things that happened this year, that year in particular. Like, that was, like, the class before her absolutely hate, or before us absolutely hated her. The class before that hated her and so on. Like, it was just a, it was a never-ending cycle. But, like, the the class that we were in, had so many things actually happen that resulted in her like getting I, w- I don't know exactly what the conversation was but like there was like a parents thing where they talked to her and they basically like then after that year she just decided I'm not coming back I was just so, left. no did I miss so another up, detail is- okay. because she received so much negative hate then she she was like, she she was complaining about it to my mom, and I overheard it. But she was like, "I'm being forced out of this community. It's not me leaving. They're forcing me out." So I think, like on paper, it was a her decision kind of thing. But nobody that was coming in that year wanted her to be t- a teacher anymore. Yeah, and for good reason. Let me just say very that very good reason. Oh. That was a really anticlimactic way to her. I wish it was like fired on the spot. Like, bitch, you are a fucking absolute anomaly no. to this school. <laughs> like, I will say the- there was one week where uh, we just had like the most productive week of that entire year. And it was because we had a sub that week. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yep. that was a good week. And then, yeah, I got I got questioned on my religion that day by that sub. <laughs> Really? Yeah, that was really funny. That no, no, no. Here's the funny thing. Here's the thing that I was just like kind of sad about. I'm like, I just really can't get a win this year. Is like I actually made a good point to Jackson's argument, but then at the end of the conversation, they like loop back around and they were like, so basically everybody but Wesley agrees with Jackson's point, right? Okay, good. Moving on. And I was like, but what you ask? I don't even remember what your point was to be honest with you. You were to um your uh your main argument was about choices, but I was like technically because you're a Presbyterian, don't you believe in predestination? And then you're like Well, yes, but <laughs> that, 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 Well but I went that, on to I went on to explain myself a little further than that. I'm not saying I'm not saying you didn't, but I because definitely did like It's a tricky thing to wrap your mind around point. as far as the like as theology goes, it's not an easy thing to wrap your head around. Oh, it's really not. The point is, is that I'm right and you're wrong, no, and she didn't you notice just, that. You just weren't. No, here's the thing. I'm right, okay, <laughs> and now get this: you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Crazy, I know. God, you just don't understand your Bible lore. Bible lore. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me walk you through uh, something. Sorry, right. I read the Here's manga. Point A, which is I'm right. Okay. Now, if we go <laughs> back down to point B, second paragraph, first page, you're wrong. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and now let's go to the conclusion of this three paragraph paper. Get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> I should. We should have turned something in like that at one point. 
Just something that said, Dude. like, I'm right, you're wrong, get wrecked, shut up. Lol. <laughs> Sincere- okay, start start of the paper. Sincerely, Miss Brenna, we'll say. <laughs> Mi- sincerely, Miss Brenna. Sin City was a reader. Eat my balls, Finn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sounds good. Man, I love eating balls. <laughs> Dude, same. Do you like eating dick and balls? And would you look at that? It is twelve ten right now. Wow! Wow! <laughs> <What? laughs> All right. Um. Do you have Do you have any more sc- sc- scories? We've kind of um... from that year. No, God. not you. I'm not talking about you. We've talked enough. I'm talking to Scott. Uh, Actually, I have. I have. Tell us another fun. story. No. <laughs> uh, there's a couple. I mean, Tell us the I'm trying to think history. of something. I, I just did. What? I was the ghost. Oh, you were. Oh, that's the ghost yeah, story. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck, man. There's a lot. I mean, it has to involve in school. So if I you don't know think. anything, then Jackson can go back. Sorry, Scott. You missed your chance. Bye bye. Well, I All have right, to um, think of it because I only have two, bitch. Fuck. I you. guess. Shut up. Here, how about this? this? How about this? <laughs> to, to, you can think of it while to, he's talking, baby. To uh, to end it, I think maybe. Because <laughs> you know, I do it. I do have to wake up somewhat early tomorrow. Oh, me um, too. I was get, like I was about to go to sleep when you texted me. What you doing? What? <laughs> so wait, I clarified with you beforehand, and you were about to go to bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I completely forgot. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, no, there was a. Uh, we had a debate on the topic of genetically modified food. That was the mm-hmm. debate topic, right? And classic? in my what? Classic. I, I just said classic. Oh yeah. So this is probably one of the just most like grievous speaking errors I have ever made in my life. So what I was gonna say was something along the lines of like, okay, you know, one pound of corn can feed like one person once, right? Like that's yeah. a that's a pretty significant amount of corn. Um, I so. What I ended up saying was that one ton of corn could feed one person <laughs> once, because the entire yeah. time I was discussing how like the U.S. made like eight hundred ninety-five million tons of corn per year or something like that, and uh, yeah, I said I said pounds or I said tons instead of pounds, and it was <laughs> clarified only after because everyone started like kind of giggling, like you know when someone says yeah, something okay, wrong so, or stupid. <laughs> From the crowd, I am watching Jackson's debate, which I have no part in because I didn't go against him this time. I don't think. No, you did not. So I'm sitting there. He's going on his debate, and I'm lightly taking notes while also lightly looking at how his hair is bouncing while he's popping his head. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just kidding. Thank you, Leslie. Uh, (laughs) So I'm, uh, of course, avidly paying attention to the speaker. And um, where he keeps talking and explaining his point and saying his thesis, and then he says the, the famous words, which he was known for in high school. Yeah. One ton of per, <laughs> one ton of what? <laughs> one ton of perks can feed one. One ton of corn can feed one person once. And then you paused for like a solid ten seconds, just looking at the wall. It was. I think this is seconds. when your brain. The, no, it was a substantial amount of time. It was not That's ten, why I said seconds, ten seconds. No, here's what ha- here's what I think happened. You said that, and you noticed people were laughing, and then your brain was like, "Why are they laughing?" Yep. And so you at accurate. least stopped. For I did stop. No less than five seconds. That sounds more accurate. Yep. Okay, it really doesn't matter. Five to ten seconds. He stopped and just kind of like mentally paused, giving what he said more room to breathe. So we all were like, "Yep, he really did say that. That's entirely. Yep, that's something he said. Even he knows it was weird." And then you just kept going. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't know. I just could not figure out for the life of me what was wrong with what I said. That's hilarious. Also, funny story. Um, in that same debate. Um, <laughs> Levi went against him 
And he argued... Oh, wait, was I going against you then? No, you weren't on Levi's team that time. Are you it sure? Was Levi and someone else, yeah. Are you sure? I'm like 90% <clears throat> sure, yes. I might have been on the team with Levi, though. It was... Are you sure it wasn't me and Levi against you and Micah? I thought that was a different one, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Well, because I remember we, I was on the same team with him for the when he said the rat thing, which would have made sense because it was the GMO debate. Yeah, I guess it would have been. So I was on the same team with Levi, apparently, so that's why I was taking notes, is because I was trying to come up with a defense against him when I cross-examined his ass. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> and it, no, it's too easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. Um, but <laughs> but no, he's <laughs> Levi comes up and he's he starts talking about like he's like, well, okay, so these so um the Levi comes up and he's like, so you know that um you know that these these foods get tested in labs before that they're applied to humans, of course, right? And he's like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. And he's like, and are you aware that rats have a better immune system than humans? And to which I responded, like, no, I was not. <laughs> no, I was not. And he's like, well, now that you have been made aware, <laughs> would, would it be reasonably inferred that if rats have a better immune system than humans, then it is safe for humans to eat since they have um, a weaker immune system? I don't remember what you responded to that. I don't either. It doesn't really matter. But it's some, probably something along the lines of if that's the truth or something like that. Not necessarily saying yes, but not necessarily saying no either. Like, you were doubting his information on that one. But anyways, Levi completely used that. And then, like, as they were going through, like, the scoring and stuff like that, Levi blurts out... Oh yeah, that thing that I said about um, rats having better immune system than humans, I have no evidence to back that up. That's something I said to win the debate. <laughs> <laughs> well, before they finished judging, and I just saw I just saw the lady who was judging through her glasses, like, hold on, if I, I don't have any with me, but like kind of, uh, if like these are the glasses, <laughs> you know how like they normally rest like, are, like right here across the bridge of your nose? Like yeah. lowered and looking at him through it, like, <laughs> like, this. like you said what now? Like the you said I'm what now? Just like looking at Levi, because he did, like, we we both did the way that we set up the debate is we both did research together and collaborated for the first speech, which is the one that I did, because he didn't trust himself to do the first speech, and so I kind of got out there and laid out groundwork. And then I was like, okay, so basically, I mean, most of it's going to look the same, but you're going to be refuting stuff that they said, number one, and if there's anything that gets left out in the speech, number two, um, you can, if you want to do some research for that yourself, then by all means, go ahead. And me saying that made me think in his mind, he would be like, okay, let me at least get a couple more sources to back up what I'm saying to fill extra time, because the speech is supposed to be seven minutes. Or the second one's supposed to be five, I think. Okay. It's something like that. Yeah, he didn't write down a single thing on his paper. He was just planning to basically talk about what they said and then go back, right back into the main points, which is all the work that I did. So, <laughs> this is what I mean. I had this man as my partner every single year. Like, they always paired us together, which is fine because we hung out, but... As far as winning debates, I never won a single debate, but it's also on me. I mean, you're fucked up the debates. We had solo debates, like one versus one debates. So I guess I'm not the best debater. But there was Jackson, also that time you tried to a... steal uh, someone's dog. <laughs> what? <laughs> no context. No, no context. But Jackson, however, Jackson is a masturbator. Oh, that makes two of us. And you're like a below par baiter. I like masturbating. That's a good thing. It is a good thing. <laughs> it's healthy. Dude, Hell let's yeah. just talk about how great it is, you know? Yeah, man. I'm yeah, that, fucking down that, that rush you Dude, get right beforehand. 
<laughs> Gets the blood pumping. Gets the blood. <laughs> you know? I love, I love when all of the my blood cells rush from my brain and into my dick because. But you know what I don't, I don't like, Wes? Of, then I don't have to think about life and how it You know what I don't me. like, though? I yeah. really don't like the way my skin feels. <laughs> well, just take it off. God. Take it off. Not this bit again. Wow. <laughs> no, that's too Owen Wilson. <laughs> wow. I'm Owen Wilson. And today we're sponsored by Viagra. We're sponsored by Ray Channel. You have a, you have a, MMO. Do you have a small little willy? Well, then just take Viagra. It'll change your life. It'll change your life. It changed mine. Yeah. Now yeah. I have... Now I have two Lightning McQueens down there. Now I'm a popular meme on Reddit now. <laughs> I have two Lightning McQueens. You didn't let me finish. Oh, okay. I have two Lightning McQueens and a big old Ted down there. Isn't oh. that the name of the truck? Ted? No, it's Toe Mater. <laughs> Not Toe Mater. I'm talking He's about the one that carries him. That's uh, Mac. Mac. Okay. Uh, a... What did you just say? What did you <laughs> say before? Ted. Ted. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ted. <laughs> okay, I got a I got a big old Mac that you can Mac on down there. <laughs> uh, penis jokes. Um. All right. Uh, I'm tired of talking to you guys. So end this shit. Am I surprised? Not at all. Not at all. End, end the podcast. Fine. Mason, you're the outro end man. It. End it. My end name is Angry Sky, and I'm proud to be no, right he, back he's in my podcast. Yeah, just... that's the outro. Here's a whole thing. <laughs> this is the outro. <laughs> and so I found a place where everybody can watch this fucking podcast show. This is the day off show. <laughs> <laughs> that honestly could be a fucking intro if you find no, it. No, say what we end every single podcast with. I'll see you later. Oh my god. Oh my-